Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. The skirmish between Mobile's mayor and city council appears to be over. The dispute centered on who could put an item on the city council agenda. A few weeks ago, the city council proposed that the mayor could only put something on the agenda if one council member agreed to sponsor it. The mayor responded that the council was trying to strip his office of power. Today, the council approved the measure that allows any elected official to put something on the agenda. That would include any council member or the mayor. And that's really what needs to happen. And so uh, we had made that recommendation. Uh, they tweaked it a little bit, but uh, that's where we need to be. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine. All right. Now, as for those who cannot place an item on the agenda, neither the city attorney, nor the city council attorney, nor the mayor's chief of staff, Colby Cooper, who was the focus of most of the council's complaints, and who was absent from today's council meeting for a second straight week. That dispute between the council and mayor's office that blew up on social media has played out with the council hiring its own public relations person. But council members say the move has been a long time in the making. Here's News 5's Peter Albrecht. She will be working with the council on managing communications, media, social media, community outreach. Today, the city council hired its own PR person. Marion Seinfels will earn $3,500 a month as an independent contractor. I'm going to be working closely with all seven to get information and um, provide to the citizens of Mobile and um, update them constantly about what's going on. The city already employs a communications director chosen by the mayor, George Talbot. Work for the city of Mobile. And so our job is to communicate uh, the activities going on in the city, uh, which includes the city. But the council members say they need their own person focused on what's happening at the grassroots level in each of the seven districts. My office often gets um, calls from individuals that want to know what's going on with city council. And this will be a way to link them and to communicate with them. Right. We will have our own Twitter page. We will have our own Facebook page. Hello. Uh, yeah. Our own emails. We do our news stuff so the truth can go out besides what's all on social media. Seinfels is already on the job. The council freed up money to hire her when it made cuts earlier this year to the WAVE transportation system budget. Peter Albrecht, News 5.